that what I do is this. I recorded a one and then I, I hooked that up to a second computer and I have that doing the processing and the uploading, okay? So it works out good because that means that I can uh, continue to, to do the videos on my main computer while I'm pro otherwise what I have to do is shut down and, and you're not you're only maybe able to play for a couple hours a day because a 12 minute video takes about an hour to uh, to process and upload so you know th that means that you're, you're you can only if you're only if you're doing four or five hours a day then you can only play about an hour and the rest of the time is going to be the in my case I'm uh, I've been invested as much as uh, I went for 10 days straight about 12 14 hours a day I mean I wouldn't do it if I wasn't enjoying it and I wanted to really get a jump start on um, I'm getting some material up on YouTube, so. And I will continue that pace for the for the next for the next 15, 20 days for the first 30 day total, okay? And um, then from time to time, uh, if I'm busy uh, with my work, you know, I um, I work for myself, so I, I take like my um, when I take a photography job I might have to go somewhere or maybe a lot of the jobs I might have to drive three or four hours to the job and then spend a day or two shooting and then back so uh, from time to time I'm gone like for two three days um, and that might be two or three days when what but I'll do is have content ready for loading and then just uh, upload it what I have before I leave and then uh, continue if you'll notice I didn't do anything for the last two or three days exactly for that reason plus it was Easter but uh, I'm back and uh, my goal today is to upload uh, 10 videos okay so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to keep that pace up for a total of 30 days. Okay, it's been about 10. So about another 20 days. I've got the time right now. And like I said, I want to put a variety of content up to kind of get everything going. Okay, if you have any comments or any suggestions, I, I read everything, so... Feel free to post whatever. If it's just garbage, don't post it. But if if, if it's an honest comment, uh, whatever it is, that's fine with me. Yeah, just look at the clouds and stuff and the colors. It's amazing how, how good... Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> it's amazing how good I am at missing spots sometimes. You really have to concentrate when you're doing stuff in the, in the any of the simulator games. You can't just get too distracted. But look at the beautiful colors, anyways. That's what I'm saying. And it's lo love that uh, air balloon and uh, <laughs> it just adds a little flavor. This is beautiful. You know, evening, cooling down. Now I gotta go, when I see those spots, I gotta go after those spots that I missed. You guys are sitting there go, wow. Even my kid could do better than this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. How could I miss that? How could I miss this?
I'm better than this. It's just that uh, being away for a couple of days. <laughs> there we go. Is this another spot I missed on the left here? Or is that a whole row I need to do it? Yeah, that's part of a row. Okay. Anyways. Oh. We're full again. We'll dump this out. We'll go see, check on uh, Buster, see how the seating's coming. What I'm going to do is when he finishes over there, come here, and this is our third field here. Okay, and once he seeds this, then we will have all three fields planted. You know, that becomes the important thing, the new crop. Every time you have a new crop, you're getting paid. The rest of the time, you're just working toward that new crop. So that's what we're doing now. Right now we're selling. This is a selling point. The straw, but uh, the truth is, you can see those open silos. The one, we'll go right by them. I should start putting any grass I pick in the one and right here on the right. This is a cattle yard right here with the milker. You can see the milker and the, the manure points. Right here are the open silos, so I could just be throwing it in there and eventually turn it in the silage, you know. But right now, I figured we can use the money. Okay, let's leave it right here and go check on. Yep, he's done here. Good. We'll move it over. Okay, and we can check on the right there. Okay. And right there, you can see where both fields are planted. Now we're going to go over to 21 and see that. Okay. And we started with 21 and 23, and we bought 22. Okay. I guess as soon as we get a chance, we'll buy 20, and we'll own these four fields. Now the question is, do I, uh, do I plow this center and make it one great big field on each side? I will think on that, but there's a good possibility we might do that. Okay. Yeah, adding those trees really, it was just so plain out in the open. That really has made it a lot nicer. And we will continue to. We're going to plant canola for a while. Probably the next couple of plantings because the price is good and. Okay, let's see if we get her lined up pretty good here. We want to get it moved over a little bit. 